I'd like to greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you are the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you the proclaim toughest to the proclaim weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you like my YouTube videos, like me, whether you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It doesn't even matter whether you are dark-skinned or light-skinned, family, friends, or proclaim enemies. Greet all you all with the same universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Today happened to be what they call Throwback Thursday, uh, April the 16th, 2020. The time of the vision, time for the change, time to uplift fallen humanity, time to get leaders that's going to fight for justice uh, for all. All right now, uh, the time being about two. 47 or yeah 247 p.m. Uh, first I'd like to see uh, again me and my household is praying for all people all around the world rich poor young old doesn't matter like I said what your political philosophical person or all religious beliefs may be we praying for those as uh, victims of the coronavirus and those as victim of black on black crime and any other type of crime. Uh, a few people asked me uh, to get in the arena again uh, for voting. And I started to, an uh, individual gave me a sign and I was going to put it in my yard, but I told him to come by and let's talk about it. And the person that's running, I want to be sure that they don't mind me uh, putting it in my yard and uh, advertising them for running for the particular office they running from. Uh, if y'all remember last year when I voted uh, and endorsed uh, the present sheriff, it calls it uh, some blacks uh, to attack me. And they attacked it, the sheriff's name, but the sheriff sent people out in the streets to uh, silence them on using his name, but uh, disregarded the continuous harassment and disrespect to me and my family. So you know I'm not, uh, all right now, I'm not voting again uh, for him. But anyway, uh, the person that gave me the sign uh, about three or four days ago never came back to the house to talk to me. So I gave the sign to somebody else and because of the fact that I feel if they gave me the sign to vote for this particular individual, I would uh, be able to talk to him and the individual that he wanted me to vote for. I decided that I voted enough here in Charleston, Missouri, in Mississippi County. And no matter who I voted for, whether it's for the Charleston R1 School District, or whether it's for uh, uh, Alderman, or city councilmen, whatever they want to call themselves downtown in city hall, uh, judge. I seen no change when it came to people that's being misused and unjustly treated here in Charleston, Missouri. And now what I can, can speak for personally myself and that's what I'm going to do, me and my household. And where I live, 
But I just want to say when I want to talk about the whisper of evil, you know, in in Islam, we we speak about the whisper of evil, the whisper of evil. They uh, whisper something to mankind's ear uh, to start chaos. And then they withdraw when they whisper the evil and they sit back and see two individuals or a group of individuals going at each other. Let's start with uh, John uh, Cole. That's C-O-A-L-E. John Cole has come on my YouTube channel. He started when I uh, videoed Shiny Light uh, Church. And I was showing the group of cars that was gathered out there but then John Cole just recently made a couple of comments just yesterday first John Cole asked have they got fingerprints off of the threatening letter that came to my mailbox John Cole said that I be being uh, about everything y'all know what I'm talking about what they call some of the women John Cole said I be being about the dogs that was crowding up around here. John Cole said I was being about the leaves uh, that was here on the ground. John Cole said uh, I be being about family dollar. Uh, let's go back. And then he said I be about the dog catcher. Now let's start with the dogs. See, hey, how y'all doing? Hello, All right. You see, John Cole, whether John Cole live over here or not, John Cole wasn't concerned about them pile of dogs that was uh, at that bus stop where the children was waiting to go to school. John Cole wasn't here when a pack of dogs that was fighting in my yard John Cole wasn't here when a dog uh, came to try to attack me in my yard. You see what I'm saying? Uh, John Cole said I was being about that, but see, I call it being concerned. And some parents that don't even live here, they said they liked it the fact that I spoke up when didn't nobody else speak up about the dogs. It was three or four different dog catchers. Yes, I complained about them not doing their job. And when they started doing their job, I gave them their credit. Now, as far as the leaves, John Cole said I was being about, leaves was all over our block here on Vine. We did our job to rake them out in the street. And when I called downtown, they gave me the city hall. They gave me the uh, city administrator. And the city administrator asked me, what do I want this time? I told him, I asked him, when was they going to get the leaves off the streets? And he told me, they'll get them when they get them. But you see, that answer didn't surprise me coming from him because I'm not the only one that's black that said they feel that he's racist with the things that he do when it comes to the black community. But let me tell you, I told him, if I pay taxes, I got a right to ask that you get the leaves up off the streets. And he said, well, the weather ain't allowing us to get them off the streets. Uh, they're wet and stuck to the ground. And I made a video and showed them they wasn't stuck to the ground. Then I went over in the white neighborhood on the east side of town, and there's no disrespect to the white people. It's just the administrator. He wasn't telling the truth. So I revealed and showed he wasn't telling the truth. He, he, they, he said a machine wasn't picking them up because they were stuck to the ground. I, they wasn't stuck to the ground over here. They wasn't stuck to the ground nowhere else. But they was cleaning them up on the white side of town two times in one week. 
And eventually I video and made the video and some of my neighbors was complaining and other people on other streets and they came down with the machine a couple of, about a week ago, a week after that brother, because I got all of my leaves up and my elder neighbors so they wouldn't have to uh, rake theirs up and I put it in my burn pile and burnt it and showed them how evil some of these people in these positions can be. You see what I'm saying? But now, then John Cole talked about me being about the family dollar. Well, if I go in there, me and a black person standing at the counter waiting to be waited on, and a white person that worked there is behind the counter playing with her phone and ignoring both of us standing there, and then when a white person come in and they go take this white person to the back and look for a floodlight, the white person is looking for the floodlight, come back out, leave out the door without the floodlight, and this white female didn't come back to wait on us, then if you call that being, I'm going to complain about it. I don't care if don't nobody else complain about it. I got a right to complain about it. You see what I'm saying? Then here's Mikey. You know, Mikey told me don't come back to Chicago. Mikey got mad because Leonard and Keith who I was kind of like going back and forward with. We were saying things to each other. But lately, we haven't said anything negative to us. But here's Mikey, the whisper of evil. You see, Mikey said, tried to uh, set them off by saying, y'all getting soft. But they didn't feed into it. Both of them responded to his comment about them getting soft. And then Mikey all of a sudden said, uh... Well, I'm going to keep on, as long as he keep on telling lies and talking about that racist stuff. But you see, Leonard told him, he said, I don't back down to nobody. And he also said, I'm a black man from Charleston, Missouri. What's your nationality, Mikey Jones? He asked him that three three days ago. Mikey Jones didn't answer that. But see, it almost, you can answer that yourself. Being a wise person, you can answer that yourself because if Mikey respond on everything else that ain't none of his business, Mikey didn't respond to that because Mikey either a white supremacist, a law enforcement official, the same with John Cole, worked for the uh, city of Charleston, or all, all the above, or a sellout black who's misusing the black community. You can listen to John Cole and uh, Mikey Jones, and you will come to that conclusion. Let's go to Jason Lee also don't trend on me. Ain't popped up in a while. The same thing. A white supremacist, a person that works for the police department or the city of Charleston, or in law enforcement, period, with all of them, or all of the above, or a sellout black that's misusing blacks. Now, let's go to Mike Gardner. I made a video last a, a month ago speaking about uh, a lot of things concerning racism. And Mike Gardner said, if you don't like Southeast Missouri, why don't you move? And I told Mike Gardner, like I told Mike Gardner, I told somebody else the same thing that told me if I don't like Charleston, Missouri, why don't I move? I said, if they don't like what I'm saying, why don't you get off of my page? But if you want to stay on my page and it's bothering you that much, come over here and try to make me move. But Mike Gardner just, hey, hey now, Mike Gardner just made another response on that. I want the people to know because a lot of people don't go back and read the comments. But he, Mike Gardner went back to the video from a month ago and said, I'm just a concern, he's just a concern, or he or she just a concerned neighbor. Now, if you're a concerned neighbor, why do you want them dogs off the street? If you're a concerned neighbor, why didn't you want them leaves off the street? You know why? Because you a white supremacist or a sellout black.
Peace, be still.